All right, people online are getting into heated debates over whether or not this video of Trump straight up handing out cash to voters in Pennsylvania is illegal. And I want to get your guys' opinion. By the end of this video, we will have broken down the exact law, we will have broken down the videos, and I will lay out how this fits into a broader pattern of behavior with Donald Trump so we can ultimately come to an informed decision. And I want you to let me know what you think in the comments. Genuinely, I love to hear your guys' opinions. We have 44 days to go until the election and not a lot of time to waste so make sure you leave a like make sure you subscribe to the channel let's hit 600k before the election and let's jump in with this article titled trump appears to hand voters cash during pennsylvania grocery store visit trump i won't even say former president trump appeared to be handing out cash to shoppers in a pennsylvania grocery store ahead of his rally on monday evening midas touch editor ron filipkowski shout out to ron shared a video on x of the 2024 gop nominee handing a shopper money and this video went mega viral we will watch it in the video trump can be heard saying quote we'll do that for you from the white house and the shopper says thank you so much so these words are very important keep them in mind the 2024 gop candidate is rallying at indiana university of pennsylvania 55 miles east of pittsburgh and according to cornell's law school this is the exact law that would let us know whether or not it's illegal so listen whoever makes or offers to make an expenditure to any person either to vote or withhold his vote or to vote for or against any candidate and whoever solicits, accepts, or receives any such expenditure in consideration of his vote or the withholding of his vote shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than one year or both. And if the violation was willful, shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than two years or both. And I will give you my opinion later in the video, but for someone to actually get convicted on any of these laws, you need to be able to prove the mens rea piece, the state of mind? Did they intend to do this? Because if you can improve that intent piece, you have a very solid case, but it's oftentimes the hardest piece to prove. So just keep that in mind throughout this video. And I do want to point out the reason why Donald Trump may be doing desperate moves like this is because we have new polls indicating whether Harris or Trump is making gains with younger voters and voters in general. And this is coming from Fox News. So Fox News posted this poll and a segment and the byline reads, Poll indicates Harris rebuilding a lead among younger voters that deteriorated as Trump made major gains against Biden last year. And I love this. I highlighted it because I love it so much. A new poll indicates surging support among America's youngest voters for VP Harris in her 2024 showdown against Trump. And this was written by Fox News. Harris tops Trump by 31 points among young people aged 18 to 29 likely to vote in the presidential election, according to a new poll released by Harvard University's Institute of Politics. That is a dramatic switch from Harvard's survey from this spring, which indicated President Biden topping Trump by just 13 points among likely youth voters. And for a little bit of some insight into the minds of Gen Zers, because I am 21 years old myself, I do think a lot of people my age viewed Biden as the establishment, and younger people tend to naturally be more anti-establishment. You can look at the protests throughout the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. There's always a rebellious young group. It is very natural, and Biden represents represented the old way of doing things. He represented the status quo, and I think VP Harris represents hope and change in a more unique way. I always say to people in my generation, you don't have to think VP Harris is perfect. You don't have to think our institutions are perfect, but if we cede even one inch of ground to MAGA, then we may not get the chance to make the changes we want to make someday. We may not get the chance to pass massive climate change reform. We may not get the chance to pass education reform, gun reform, all of these things that we really, really want to do, including codifying Roe v. Wade, I would really like to build more housing, as VP Harris would like to, will be completely lost in the ether if we begin to cede ground to MAGA. And I think people realize that now that VP Harris has been out on the campaign trail explaining that. Now, I love President Biden. I'm sure you do as well. But he wasn't as effective on the campaign trail during the last few months. He really wasn't holding that many rallies or interviews and I think that was a function of his age. They were worried to take risks. Now VP Harris is going out there holding these historic events and it is undeniable that the momentum has shifted. Biden dropped his re-election bid in July and since then everything has been flipped upside down. This poll reveals a significant shift in the overall vibe and preferences of young Americans as the campaign heads into a final stretch. And I think that is very, very true. And this brings us back to the main story. Why is Donald Trump handing out cash to voters in Pennsylvania? Let's watch this first clip. Oh. 
Look at that stuff. <laughs> we gotta get it. <laughs> My mom just got a bag of that, actually. That's him making Walt Nada the popcorn boy. And in this next clip, he hands out cash to this woman. Here, it's gonna go down a little bit. It just went down a hundred bucks. Thank you so much. We'll do that for you from the White House, all right? Thank you. All right, bye. So those are the important words. We'll do that for you from the White House. Let's tell us just one more time in its entirety. Thank you, Here, it's gonna go down a little bit. It just went down a hundred bucks. Thank you so much. So he gave this lady $100, and I want to ask you, I want you guys to let me know, after we watch that video of Trump doing this, we can see him grabbing the $100 over here, we can see him turning around, and he says the words verbatim, let me find them right here, he says, we'll do that for you from the White House. Now, according to this law that I read, do you think that is illegal? I'm going to take the brave stance that I don't think that this would be proven in a court of law. I think if someone tried to take this to court, Donald Trump would most likely be able to slither his way out of it. Not because of any talented lawyers, because any talent that he has, but because you need to be able to prove this very specific intent piece that I talked about earlier in the video. The question we need to ask is, does Donald Trump use language that indicates this is a straight up bribe? And I don't think the language is strong enough. He also says, quote, for your consideration while she's paying groceries. So. Is helping somebody pay groceries illegal if you're a presidential candidate? I don't think so if you're not directly saying, hey, you should vote for me. If a presidential candidate goes to a food bank or some sort of charity drive and they begin handing out food, let's just say turkeys, would that be illegal for them to hand out food? Would that be bribery? I don't think that is bribery unless you can see the intention. Unless they say, I will give you this turkey if you vote for me. Unless they say, I won't give you this turkey unless you vote for me or vote against somebody, or if they have written somewhere, let's give turkeys to people so they vote for us. So if we found texts from Donald Trump saying, hey, let's hand out this money so we can get voters, that is the intention right there. That is the piece that we need. So I hope even if you guys disagree, you can understand where I'm coming from, where I think Donald Trump would be able to slither out of this. But I do think watching this makes it seem like he's desperate. It is a desperate move either way. And I will say, apart from the legality of it, we can talk about the ethics of it. And I do think that this is very ethically questionable to say the least. I think it is immoral. I think it is bad to try to go out as a candidate and give people money in a subtle wink and a knob, even if you don't legally incriminate yourself. So I do want to say it is morally wrong, even if he didn't legally drop the mens rea perfectly. Chris Evans seems to disagree with me and that's fine. He says it is illegal for a presidential candidate or any candidate to hand out cash to voters in the U.S. Offering money or any form of valuable consideration in exchange for a vote is considered bribery and violates federal election laws. The Federal Election Campaign Act and related laws prohibit this type of conduct to ensure elections are free and fair. Both the person offering the bribe and the person receiving it could face legal consequences. And what he's saying is totally right, but the question that would be asked in court is, does this meet the definition of a bribe? And what I'd ask Chris Evans, who is a friend of the show, I like this dude, he, I would ask him, what would you consider a bribe legally? And would the language that Trump used meet a bribe. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know exactly if it would, but my intuition is telling me that I think he'd be able to slip out of it. But let me know what you think. I'm genuinely curious, and if you enjoyed this video, all that I ask is that you leave a like, drop a blue heart, hit that subscribe button, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.